Welcome back. Now, body language is something we all possess, and our next guest is able to tell whether or not you're lying just by the way you look. Yeah, he is known as the human lie detector, and he is Darren Stanton. Darren, great to have you on the show. Can you tell us, first of all, when did you yes. realise you had this talent? Mm. Well, I, I'd always had a real sort of connection with people and I studied yeah, psychology at university and then became um, a prison psychologist because I fell in love with the show with Robbie Coltrane called Cracker as a child and I realised quite quickly yeah, that was actually fiction. But really my beginnings in, in, the, in the whole thing were studying psychology. Darren, give me an idea. What is it that we should look for to be able to tell if like your everyday person that you meet is actually lying to you? Yeah, no problem. So the outward signs that we, we call it is called leakage. So it's not a nice word um, and it's linked to emotion. So, for example, if maybe someone steals your your um, lunch out of the fridge at work, there's probably no consequence to that. But but bigger lies attract more emotion within somebody. So essentially what will happen straight away is that um, blood will drain from somebody's face quite quickly. So lips and earlobes and someone will blink maybe twice or three times faster. Um, and then also um, people's cheeks will go quite pale. So that's maybe two or three quite um, rapid um, facial tells that you'll get straight away. Yeah. D Darren, when you're looking at somebody then and when, you, when we're chatting about body language, how important is that? Yeah, because what they say is that we cannot not communicate. So even when we were standing very still and we think that we're not communicating, you know, we, we really are. And if, like most things, that's how we accept that there's, there's mobile phone signals, and it's the same with body language. If you can interpret, um, you know, um, what somebody's kind of thinking on the inside, then it's not just applicable to lying. You can use it on a date. You can use it for a job interview. So there's lots of practical applications to, you know, giving off um, positive body language. Yeah, Darren, we, we, have some, we have some footage and some pictures here of some very well-known people. And we want to sure. know what their body language is saying because we are inexperienced, Emer, aren't we? Yeah. So we really want to know what's going on here. The first <laughs> piece we'll see here is Benefer, which is uh, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck. What's, what are they saying here? They're love, they're kissing each other. That's what I see. Am I right? Yeah, also, uh, I mean, these are the kind of the original power, kind of power couple in Hollywood. And one of the things that people don't realise now is that the media will use people that read lips for, for analysis. They use this for the marriage of of Prince, um, Prince Harry and Meghan. So right. she's aware that my, the paparazzi are there. So she tended to lean in to make sure that her face was discarded. The fact that they're in, in very close with each other in each other's proximity denotes that they're obviously, you know, deeply in love and they've got what we'll call deep rapport. But principally, she hides her face because she knows that the paparazzi can potentially pick up what she's saying. Oh, that's really interesting. Really interesting. You, do, really you, see, interesting. you do see managers and football matches and stuff yeah, cover, you know. Yeah. So, um, okay. Next up, what I'm dying to hear in here. Okay, Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin. Now they're in love. Are are they? What does this picture tell you, Darren? <laughs> this is a really interesting picture. I mean, I know Justin Bieber has a love hate relationship with the media, and um, I think they've kind of decided to to put this picture out there because. He's given away complete apathy, like he doesn't want to be there. Yeah. He's got his hands across his chest. Yeah. So that's almost like a defence as well. So it's, I think it's almost like they're playing with the media a little bit. Yeah. Okay, because, because if you look at the both in a row, she has a puss in her and so has he. So they look very, very unhappy, but you're <laughs> saying it's all, it's all an act with the two of them. They're playing the opposite I, game. I, I think knowing, knowing Justin Bieber, because I've analysed him quite a few times, um, he blows very hot and cold. And I think in this particular picture, um, it just looks like, I don't really, it struck me like a, a picture from the Adams family. It's quite, <laughs> quite mournful. Good you know comparison, <laughs> Darren. 100% agree. <laughs> Darren, on to another TV show, Sex and the City. Now, I think it was fairly public that there was a falling out between Sarah Jessica Parker and um, Samantha, I think. Can we have a look at this picture or this footage here? And what does this tell us? Now, the interesting thing about this particular picture is that the more space that a person occupies, so, for example, we see a lot of major politicians do this. So when people spread their legs or they put their hands on their hips, we tend to see this at uh, red carpet events, you know, like the awards or, or Oscars. So I think within this dynamic, Sarah Jessica Parker is asserting her authority wow. as, as thinking I'm the most important person here. And that's what she's saying non-verbally, where the other two are just happy to stand back and just, just have a chat. Yeah. 
No, that's well, interesting, isn't it? As you're talking, Darren, I'm finding myself getting bigger and bigger. Um, yeah, that's true. Totally presenting true. my dominance. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. The um, more space you occupy, the bigger, the more powerful you're perceived. Absolutely. Oh, okay. All right, so in this next picture, we have Michael Collins and De Valera with Harry Boland. Um, love to know what you see in this dynamic. Sure. Well, the thing about, about body language is that we can look at historical photographs and video and we can still gain a lot of information so in this this is a great picture because you've got michael collins there and the two men on the left are um, pointing to each other which tells me that they've got a great deep rapport with each other and um, the man rubbing his hands you know that's almost well, it may be a cold day because they're wearing overcoats it's almost saying you know let we've come to do business you know let we've come to do something and people watching the show right now may sometimes do that when you know they're eager to get started um, but I think it shows, you know, the two men have a deep rapport and a deep respect for each other. OK. Uh, moving on to another one. This is Conor McGregor and his partner, Dee Devlin. What can you tell us about this one? Well, again, I've assessed um, Conor quite a lot of shows, especially when he's done the, um, the weigh-ins, mm. you know, when he's been, bo mm. been boxing. Yeah. And the thing about him is his signature tell is a thing called a chin thrust. Mm -hmm. So he will stick his chin out, and that is a... It's almost like a medieval gesture, which says that I'm a very powerful, uh, intimidating man. And you'll notice that he sticks his chin out. Now, his girlfriend is less comfortable because as he went to kiss her there, you'll see her take mm -hmm. a step back to create a distance. Now, that's not because of him. That's because she's uncomfortable being photographed in that kind of intimate way by the media. Yeah, wow. just like this now. Um, yeah. Stick, like this. get that chin right yeah, out. Yeah, that's called a chin. Puff it out, you know. Like, but I have the neck for it, anyway. You do have the neck. There's some neck for you, like. Uh, thank you, Darren. Honestly, that was just so Thanks, interesting. Darren. It was really brilliant. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, I'm going to have to You're monitor, welcome. I think, some of the telltale signs from yeah. your man. Oh, What are your telltale signs? Well, when you start doing this, like, yeah, I'm going to have to say, tone it down. You don't, actually, you don't I see, need space, too. You don't see the wrinkles when you do this. It's great. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Still to come, we have news and weather for you at home. And, of course, Eunice will be back in the kitchen. And the two Johnnies as well. We're going to rate their plate that and more. Ectachtanegna Vogri.